Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. There is a video that has been leaked in the public and social media. And when I was watching that video, I was shocked. How are these leaders, when it comes to OCS and police, how they interpret the law? I've watched an OCS coming out explaining for us how they are going to kill Kenyans. I'm not, I'm not fearing anything to say that. Why? Because here is the video where an OCS coming telling Kenyans that when we are having a hundred percent population and then three percent of Kenyans are disturbing they have a right to eliminate them by killing them. Imagine about the population of 100%, then 3% of uh, 50 million. 3% of 50 million. And OCS is coming out telling us that they're going to kill them if they're disturbing. Watch that video, then we continue with our analysis. Come on, the principal. Come on, move to see peacefully. You assault that person as you wait for the police. Query? Come on, bado ni mutu ameufanya kitendo. Tunasema hot pursuit. Amedunga mutu. Bado the incident is still fresh. Huyo mutu awawe. Nanasema awawe. That is the proper interpretation of the law. Article number 24 of this constitution in Asema Yakwamba, certain rights can be limited. These are rights which can be limited. And right to life is one right which can be limited. Hatuwezi allow few individuals waendele ambao nuwakorofu waendele ku disturb watu wengi in the society. That one is not protected in the law. Lazima population ya watu kio 100%. If 3% ndiyo wana disturb kwa kuhua watu, we eliminate 3% by killing to save 97%. Tumelewana kufitia hapo? Nani anasema hii katiba airuhusu mutu kuhua? Inaruhusu. Article number 24, the limitation clause. Sawa sawa? Article 51 of the UN Charter. Ya kwamba mutu akikomita crime hapa, ameua mutu, anafuata under hot pursuit na pia awawo. It is there. Why are we interpreting the law? to favor criminals and to disadvantage good people in the society. That one I will not allow. Nikiwa OCS Bondeni hapa. Mutu You have watched the video of an OCS coming out telling us that how they are going to do it is that those, even they have not proven guilty, that they are going to be killed. And when I was calculating, that percentage of that an OCS giving us out, I was shocked. There's a big number of Kenyans that are planning to kill. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was calculating this, when he said that when we are having a population of 100%, imagine a population of 100% represent 50 million Kenyans. Then if they found that 3% are disturbing 97%, that they are going to eliminate them by killing them. He said it is not something that I'm saying. He said it, that we are going to kill that 3%. I want to shock you. 3% of 50 million is 2.5 million, million Kenyans. 3% that this OCS is saying that they're going to eliminate 
So to stop disturbing 97% of Kenyans, it is representing 2.5 million Kenyan shillings. The problem that is being solved now is that there are certain police officers that are being reined in the court or because of such allegations. It has come to a point. This and OCS is speaking before Kenyans. Kenyans are clapping. Kenyans are clapping and celebrating that an OCS has done it or uh, has gave a, a, a appealing speech to them. One thing that I want to say is that the constitution, yes, allow someone to be killed. I don't know which section, but even you can see in other countries, when you have been found guilty of killing, remember my word, when you have been found guilty that you have killed, then you are also being killed. Some countries are like that. But in accordance to the law. But what we are seeing in that video is that shoot and kill. Shoot and kill. When you have been found, you are just a suspect, shoot and kill. Suspect, shoot and kill. Someone will wake up in the morning and say that you are a thief, you are being killed. You are a thief, you are being killed without any investigation. The OCS is saying that in the constitution, they are allowed to take the life of the people. The life of Kenyans. And there's a certain revelation that now is coming very clear. That even this so-called police special service unit, there was something behind them. Because if an OCS can come and tell us that they have right to kill, this is something that is terrible. I think this is something that IG, the new IG, Jafet Kome, must come out to address this. Because this is going to affect Kenyans. You will be found just, it is just accusation, then you are going to be killed. Just accusation, you are going to be killed. And that is whatever is going to happen. In this new administration, this must be stopped. Let not police kill anyone of you, of you. Let the investigation be, be, be done. And there's a right to do it. And right to do it is that after investigation and someone has been found guilty, it's okay. Because, I mean, someone could be found amedungwa na kisu hapo chine na kuna mutu alikuwa kando kuna mutu amekugu abruptly Mutu amedungwa kisu hapo. Then mutu alikuja kuokoa huyu jama. There's, a, 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 there's many scenarios that uh, mutu menya kutua immediately at that point. Uwa anakuanga suspect. Then you want to tell me you're going to kill that person. Because you have a right to kill in the constitution. That person alikuwa amedungwa kisu hapo. Because of that person alikuwa, mwingine alikuwa anakuja kumuokoa. Then police or anyone has come and na mempata hapo. In the suspect ya, suspect ya kwanza. Because hakuna cameras hapo, hakuna nini. Uyo jamaa na wawa. Is that kind of thing that you are being told. So really, according to my opinion, I see something wrong with this leadership. Because you cannot come out to tell Kenyans that we are going to eliminate 3% of the population. And the 3% of the population is 2.5 million. You are going to kill 2.5 million. Iyo ni kama votes. 2.5 million you're going to kill. OCS. OCS Mzima. You're telling Kenyans and same Kenyans are clapping. And those who are clapping, they're going, they're the first people that are going to find them, uh, they're, find, they're going to find themselves on the hot spot. Because we mtu wana clap hapo, mtoto yake atapatikana tu ni suspect. Pap. Bwana yake atapatikana suspect. Pap. Bibi yake atapatikana suspect. Pap. Mzazi yake, pa, that is whatever is going to happen. Really? So when I saw this video, I was shocked. I think that times secrecy must, secrecy in police must be there. 
Osi yes, usikuje tuko usema tu pra 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 pra. You're leading a team that is protecting Kenyans. Wacha kupanua mdomo wako na kuongea tu ovyo ovyo. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your opinion towards the video of Osiye saying that in the 100 uh, in the population of 100%, if 3% is disturbing 97%, they are going to eliminate 3%. Then 100% represent 50 million Kenyans, not shillings, Kenyans. Then when you eliminate 3%, 3% of 50 million is 2.5 million. So whatever we are being told, they are going to eliminate the, the 2.5 million Kenyans that are going to do things that are not in accordance to, to the law. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Perhaps that is my opinion. What are your thoughts? Give your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. If you are a visitor, please consider subscribing. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of great job that you're doing. Please consider liking this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.